In this sheet metal exercise, we will create this model with the help of forming tool. See this kind of shape we will create uh, with the help of some forming tools and we will also make this forming tool. See this is a kind of lure, a kind of forming tool. We will create this one, save this uh, library, then we will create this shape. So let's see how we can do this in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. Let's take one more sheet metal exercise. In this tutorial, we will create one forming tool, then use those forming tools and create this kind of shapes. And also we will learn how to use gusset, gusset feature. Okay. Dimensions in millimeter thickness 0.75 bending radius 1 millimeter. Bending radius always counts from inside. Gusset corner radius are 0.5. Okay. We have one top view, front view, side view. This is flattened view. Okay. Now gussets location 25 millimeter. Okay. First make this base. Base 50 millimeter. Depth 30 millimeter. Thickness 0.5. Then we will make one wall. We have to add this material point, same thick, thickness, 90 degree, 25 millimeter and see the internal radius, one millimeter. Then at corner, there are radius R10 and there are 10 diameter hole and 15 location from bottom view. And at this corner, we have one chamfer, five by five, five by five. Top plane sketch activate center rectangle and start from origin point. Right click choose select and exit from rectangle. Smart dimension 50 millimeter and the width 30 millimeter. Okay. Now go to sheet metal and activate base flange. See material direction going downward side. Okay. No problem. 0.75. Okay, K factor is standard. I am going to keep. Okay, this is rectangle uh, auto cut relief 0.5 means half of the thickness. If you keep ratio 1, means equivalent to thickness. Okay, let me uncheck. I am going to apply some color to this body so that uh, we will identify this one. Okay. Now edge flange. I want to make a wall. So select this end and draw move cursor upside and see the radius at corner is too big. See here uncheck use default radius make it one. Now let me select the view 90 degree. Now keep end condition blind and depth 25. See the thick, uh, depth 25 and dimensions going to count from this end point and also material thickness count inside. See, this is outside wall material going to count inside. Okay. Let me select this face, sketch, activate circle, draw one circle here. Ten millimeter and distance from bottom face. Fifteen millimeter is still not defined. It means this is not located at exactly center. Choose center point. Hold shift key. Select origin point because this is located at center. Choose vertical. See, it is fully defined. Go to sheet metal and activate extruded cut feature. Here you can choose through all blind anything you can apply dimensions but if you simply choose link to thickness it will cut only up to the thickness of material see now drop down corner break corner trim corner now first chamfer 5 by 5 now select this face see automatically selected detected two corner okay Similarly, I am going to again activate break corner. This time select fillet 10 millimeter and select this face. See by default system detect these two corner. 
okay no need to select one by one all corners okay now let's make this uh, gusset gusset location see 8 millimeter from one side 8 millimeter from other side now gusset depth see here 3.5 then gusset with width 3 millimeter and uh, gusset radius corner radius 0.5 Let's see how we can do this. Activate sheet metal gusset. Now any face you have to choose. I am going to select uh, this face first. Second this face. Now you will see this line activated. Now this start point and here end point. This violet color start point. Now this is offset selected 8 millimeter. This distance center of this body to outside. Now profile. Here we have indent profile or professional dimension. Profile dimension. Here you can apply but we have indent depth. How much this depth? 3.5. See. Outer corner round. Then the this is width width given 3 millimeter thickness 0.75 according to sheet metal okay now the corner inner corner fillet outer corner fillet if i'm going to activate full preview you will see say okay look see this is outer and this is inner now later we will mirror but let me make okay how how we can make this shape we can do with the help of forming tool so we have, will create one forming tool internal dimensions 22 depth internal 1.5 oh, and one more thing okay see these uh, radius going to be 3.75 okay let's see and corner radius how much see here 0 0.75 0 0.75 activate new tool uh, new new part I am going to make first base any uh, make base uh, bigger than the tool Thirty by ten. Extrude. Uh, let's say direction one, depth one millimeter. Okay. Select this top face. Sketch. Center slot. Smart dimension. Hold shift key and outside to outside dimension. 22.5 radius 3.5 3.75 into 2 fine but we need to make half draw one line and make two face extruded boss base now here see selected contour activated so first I am going to select this one depth 1.5 okay fillet constant type fillet radius how much 0 0.75 okay first let me select this one and this one see okay now go to sheet metal and activate forming tool now stopping phase so this is our stopping phase tool going to stop at this phase now which material you want to remove remove face now here i want to make a hole so select this one okay look these red material going to remove and this is going to form okay now it's time to save this one drop down save as now here choose form tool now it will show you location see forming tools double click and where you want to place this tool 
so let's say i'm going to place at lower already one tool is uh, available here let's say give name lower custom save go to your part now design library see here if you check design library forming tool in forming tool there are lures see this is lure custom just drag this one place here now i want this one back side so choose here flip tool see this is located here and also check now this shape also i want to make other side 180 degree enter see position now drag this one to here somewhere let's define the 25 delete maybe there is some relation created delete this relation midpoint relation created just uh, move somewhere here twenty five now let's move this sketch look it is fully defined say okay okay see our forming tool created now let's mirror this first choose one reference plane front plane is suitable because this is located at center of this face now feature select gusset and this one say okay see now let's make some holes there are four holes 1.5 see this location 1.5 then there are three number of oblong holes 12 12, 12 2.5 to let's see now let me select this face i want to make hole in all connect place at center point because one point five if you see distance from here to here one point five okay let me draw one center line here also I am going to create center point is straight slot start one point drag move cursor upper side click and drag similarly do here also okay now select this one hold shift key select this one and choose here equal see okay center to this 2.5 2 gap 12 okay mirror entity select this one mirror about this line so okay see we have fully defined this sketch similarly let's mirror this mirror entity select this hole and select this uh, line also mirror about this line okay again mirror entity select this all both hole mirror about select this horizontal line and you will see the preview here go to feature and activate extruded cut feature i want to remove material all so here don't apply blind choose through all because the surface is different see 
Now let's save this one forming tool. Forming tool, okay, dot. Now go to sheet metal, activate flatten view. See, normal view. Right click, save as DXF. DXF file. DXF file mainly used for AutoCAD or for machining purpose. Save. Now here export sheet metal. What you can export hidden edge, bending line, library feature, forming, bounding box. The origin you can define, but it's fine. Where I'm not going to define any origin. You can see origin already here. So keep as it is, say OK. Now it will show you some preview, see. This is the preview to the drawing. Save it. Exit. Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.